welcome back to my channel my name is Cassie if you're new here and welcome to Cassie's castle today's video we are going to be doing a Disney Halloween haul I've been purchasing items all throughout the month of August actually I think my first purchase was in July I'm really excited to go through everything and once we do this haul I feel like I can finally like decorate the shelves into spooky season I don't know you guys it's just been so hot this week if you guys live in California then you know the heat has been insane this week we have been going through a heat wave and it's been hard for me to like get out of bed and like film and like do anything because of how hot it is I'm just like laying like this with like the fan on because it's so freaking hot and like I can't get into Halloween mode when it's a hundred degrees hopefully after this week it cools down and chills out a little bit and then I can actually like get into spooky season kind of sort of you know if you're already in full force for Halloween because can't relate so if you guys are interested in today's video then make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, make sure you guys subscribe, and let's get started. Everything I'm going to show you in this video is like official Halloween merch, like from Shop Disney. I think I have some things from Marshalls, but I'm not including small shops in this video because I'm going to do a separate video of like all the things that I purchased from small shops, which it's a lot. So stay tuned for that one. So let's start with maybe we'll do some ears from the new Halloween ears. This is the first pair that I bought. I, I don't think it's technically Halloween. It's more like a fall pair of ears, but it works. So these are the copper ears and I love these. I think these are my favorite ears that I've purchased for the Halloween season and probably the best ears that are gonna be coming out. I have like the ring light on, so I feel like it's really reflective, but they're so pretty. I just love a sequin bow. I just love sequin ears in general. They're my favorite ears. Love them for fall. I'm so excited to style them a ton this season and of course we have like the cvs receipts as always the next pair that i have are these ears and once again these are more fall ears and these i'm still trying to decide if i love or hate them i haven't figured out an outfit that like i'm obsessed with that like goes with these ears but I just thought the color was just so unique and so different and I love the corduroy and I felt like the plaid was cute. So that's why I bought them, but we'll see how long I hold on to these for. This is what they look like. If you can tell, they are corduroy. We have the plaid bow. Bow of mine, like there's lots of brown on this side, but this side doesn't, which kind of bothers me. Like I wish it was like more even. I mean, it's not bad. I just need to figure out how I'm gonna style them. I feel like these aren't gonna be like everyone's favorite pair of ears. And they're honestly not my favorite pair of ears, but I just wanted to challenge myself and try and style them and it's been a challenge <laughs> indeed I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna do it. The one pair of ears that I got that were actually Halloween looking ears are these. These actually come with a bow and I did cut the bow off. I showed you guys like on TikTok and stuff. It's really cute. They just remind me of like the plain black leather ears with like little Halloween designs, which is why I like them. Little sketches. They're so cute and simple. It says boo on the side. I think these ears are super cute and I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them. I did cut the bow off because the bow was just like not giving. I actually took the bow and I made it into another bow if you guys saw that video. I think it's so much better without it. This is what they look like. I love them. So those are all the ears that I have. I feel like we're getting through this video pretty quickly. Let's do some clothes. The first thing is this t-shirt which I feel like everyone has this t-shirt like i've seen so many people wearing this i mean how could you not buy it it's so cute it's just like a cream i honestly thought it was going to be more white when i saw it on the website but it's definitely like a cream color we have the ghost mickey or like mickey hat ghost on the corner we have a bunch of little sketches we have pluto we have mickey this is goofy as a tree which is Interesting. I see a tree. Over here we have Donald. It's candy corn and I think it's really cute. I love this t-shirt. It's definitely gonna be a staple for me this Halloween season. I've already worn it even though it was August when I wore it, but I just really like it. I think it's really cute. For everyone wondering, most of the time I get my t-shirts in a size large because I like an oversized fit and same goes for sweatshirts. Sometimes with shirts, I'll go down to like a small or a medium like the shirt that I'm wearing now. This is a small because that was the only size that was available. Also, this is from Urban Outfitters. I feel like I'm gonna get questions. I usually go for like a large just because I like an oversized fit. I love this one and if it comes back in stock, actually I feel like if this one is still in stock, um, then you should buy it so you can be like everyone else. <laughs> 
that's on Disney Instagram and we can all match. The next item that I have is the matching sweatshirt. This one, it's just the black version. We have Mickey, or that's not Mickey, who's this? Pluto, we have Goofy as a tree once again on the sleeve. The back, we have a big Mickey pumpkin, which is so fun. On the other sleeve, we have Donald. We also have Chip and Dale. Let's see. Cutie. The ghost Mickey on this one is actually embroidered. The rest of the pictures are like printed on. I think this is really cool. I love it. Once again, it is a large, so it has like that oversized Fit. This one I actually got an extra large because the large was sold out when I placed my order I was like really debating between the t-shirt and the sweatshirt and I was like I don't need both so like I need to pick one or the other and I could not decide What I was gonna get by the time I was like, okay, like let me go check the website This was selling out and they were out of the large they were out of medium and I was like, okay My only option is extra large and I have to buy it now and good thing I did because it is now sold out. I don't know why it took me so long. And honestly, I love both. I definitely think I will get more use out of the t-shirt though for some reason. So this one's like extra long on me. So it's more like a dress, like a sweater dress, which is really cute. Like I feel like this would be cute with like some um, boots and stuff, but yeah. So that is the sweatshirt. I have another shirt and I don't know where it is. So give me one second. This shirt I actually bought on my last trip and I'm not sure if I put it in my haul video that I did from my Disneyland trip, but this is what it looks like. It is so cute. This is from the kids section. I bought this in July at World of Disney. I still have not seen this online, so I'm assuming like they'll eventually put it online, but I haven't seen it at all. When I went to World of Disney. They only had a size large, and I think like the other size were like smalls and stuff. Definitely would have preferred like an extra large because it is children's size, and I would need like the biggest size. So I bought this one. I think it's really cute though. So if you can fit into kid sizes, and if you're able to come across it, I would say pick this up. I just love pink, and pink Halloween is just like such a vibe for me. Since it's pink, like I feel like you can wear it not just around spooky season like i don't know like i can wear this in september whereas i feel like my halloween sweatshirt i can only wear in october i don't know why my brain is like that but yeah i mean he's so cute it says pumpkin spice and everything nice and it says disneyland at the bottom it's so cute so i love this t-shirt i forgot to mention the sweatshirt you can get it at disneyland it says like a like it has like a d on it or you can get the Disney World version. It has like the W or whatever it usually does. This one was on Shop Disney and they only had the Ghost Mickey version. So if you want like the Disneyland version of it, you would have to get it, I think, at World of Disney because I haven't seen it online. The next item that I have is actually from Marshalls. My aunt actually picked it up for me and I'm so glad she did because I was actually eyeing it when I was in the store. It's a Hocus Pocus robe. So it's just plain black. On the back, it says Hocus Pocus in orange and it's embroidered and it's really cute and it has like little stars. I like it because it's simple. Like it's not like a big face of the witches. Like I don't need all of that. I like that it's just the logo. <laughs> if you're at Home Goods or Marshalls, you should definitely pick this up because it's so cozy and I feel like it's fun for spooky season. The first mug I have is from Marshalls as well and it's this Jack Skellington mug. I put it in my shopping video, but this is what it looks like. It just has his face and I don't know if you can tell, but like the mug itself is kind of like warped. I don't know, like it's like bumpy, which I feel like gives like a fun vibe for Halloween. I like how simple it is, actually $5.99, which is way cheaper than it would be on Shop Disney. On Shop Disney, this would be $30. I promise you. I have another mug and I don't know where it is. Just had it, so I will include it at the end. I'm going off of the Jack Skellington vibe. I also have this Jack Skellington New Emos. I actually wanted him last year and I never picked him up. I don't know why. I think I just was spending too much money on Halloween merch and I was like, girl, stop. So I stopped myself from buying this one. I finally bought him. Honestly, I bought him for photo purposes because literally like looking at him it kind of scares me just like him in a little doll version is like really creepy and i don't like looking at him so yeah i'm gonna use him for photos and i'm probably gonna sell him because i just cannot i can't i cannot look at him probably should have gotten sally i feel like sally's 
cuter. Like, I don't know, he just looks really scary to me. <laughs> Maybe I'm being dramatic, but literally, he's like creepy. I think it's the fact that he's a doll because like, this isn't scary, it's just a mug. This is a doll, just like is giving like voodoo or something and I'm not into it. It's a little, a little scary. Okay, guys, we found the missing mug. I left it like in the corner of my room. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, we have the pumpkin Mickey mug and I'm obsessed with this. I think this is so cute. It's just orange and we have the yellow detailing on the eyes and then we have the green handle. I think this is like the cutest mug ever and I'm so happy I have him. I think he is sold out now, so hopefully they restock it. I did miss out on the Mickey like lantern thing where like you put a candle in it and like it lights up i already have one but i feel like this one is just like this version is so much cuter than the one i have so i really want to get that one and i'm upset that like i just decided not to do it because i already had one doesn't matter you need two girl but i still love the mug i think he's so cute and i can't wait to actually use him i feel like it's a little weird because like if you were to actually use this like these the ears will like hit your side of your face to finish off our haul we have the biggest mickey pumpkin you've ever seen in your life here he is you guys we have the big mickey pumpkin he is so big i can't even get his whole thing in the frame oh yeah there we go so he's really lightweight um if you can hear that it's really hollow on the inside so it's not heavy it's just big and i don't know what i'm gonna do with him or like where i'm gonna put him but i mean it's really cool to have a big pumpkin like i feel like i'm at disneyland every day when i look at him this was actually i think it was 65 dollars, which i was surprised about because i definitely thought that was gonna be like a hundred dollars easily it wasn't a bad price like it's expensive but like not what i thought disney would price it as i think he's really cute and still not sure what i'm gonna do with him so we'll figure it out i also wasn't even sure if i even wanted him like if you guys watch the purchaser pass i was like i do not need that but the fact that it was selling out was like stressing me out and i was like i have to buy it just because i don't want it to be sold out and then me change my mind that i want it you know what i mean kind of like my rule with disney merch is like just buy it if you see it because when you change your mind and you eventually want it it's gonna be gone so yeah i just bought it and if i don't want him i will sell him gladly that is it for today's haul i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what things you guys have been buying for your disney halloween merch this year i feel like in general i'm pretty much done with disney halloween merch for this year like i feel like i don't really need anything else I haven't really seen anything else that like really caught my eye. The only thing I've been wanting is like the Haunted Mansion puffer jacket. That's the only thing I want, so I'll probably end up buying that. But honestly, when I look at it, it doesn't even scream Halloween. So I figured I could just film this haul without it and it would be okay. I'll include it in another one. That's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys have been buying for Halloween this year. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.